Hi guys, Vyusti here, Venice Peaks Tech. Today I want to present you guys the latest beta version from Arnova. So it's Arnova 7.3 and there is a version released just several days ago. Also with that, I want to present you guys some of the best XML styles there, namely two, one created by Nameless and another one created by the Six Chris Arm. And then again, show you just some of the settings tell you what the latest news are from this version and just take two pictures so that you can see how good the comparison with that set and no further ado, I really hope that you're gonna enjoy this video, so let's start. Alright guys, cool. Now, first, the very new things here in that release are that now this camera or this version from Arnova 7.3 now supports the Google Auto Wide Balance for portrait mode, right? And we need to talk a little bit about Google uh, Auto Wide Balance and we need to talk a little bit about Auto Wide Balance in general so that you pretty much can understand what difference does this make, what is the reason to have Auto Wide Balance there and how you guys can benefit from that, okay? So I'll just do like a detour one two minutes to provide short brief explanation if there are people on the channel that don't know this but of course i don't think uh, but anyway i know guys that you know everything better than me still i just want to make this detour so if you know about how to add buttons then you might skip this video for two minutes if not just stay tuned and just listen to what i have to say if you have decided to stay and watch a very short and brief explanation about what is white balance and temperature color and how to use auto white balance then yeah really thank you for doing this what is white balance and of course how do we use it and what does auto white balance means and of course we need to start with the fact that actually white is white right and i'm not so clever so i'm using of course some hints here on the web but you can just also see from the pictures down there that it's pretty much one and the same picture but apparently the color tones are a little bit different and we start from very cold colors to somewhat medium colors and then we end up on the right having really warm colors so the white balance is how warm or cool the overall colors in the photograph we take in look like this is what this means and again guys because it's 2020 and we have this like old fancy and modern algorithms our cameras are really able to do some nice tricks for us and I just want to give you guys some more examples so we need to understand the color temperature before we need to speak about the auto white balance but just see here it's a very very good example here Always, when we talk about color temperatures, we are using the term Kelvin here, right? So we start with a high pressure sodium lamp and you see it's very yellow and it's about 2200 uh, case. Then we go somewhere in the middle where we have, let's say, the natural right or the metal highlight color. And then we go to the very, very right where we have cool white and that's about 7000 kelvins guys but the whole part guys of using out white balance is that our cameras have an algorithm inside them and this enables you when you take out the photo or you may you take out the camera and you try to shoot a picture with an automatic white balance that the camera will pretty much examine the scene that we are trying to take so let's say you're walking your dog outside and it's very bright and the sun is shining our white balance will help you and it'll get a more natural look that should also be seen by your eyes and now that's a tricky part because again if you're doing this outside when the sun is shining then maybe you're gonna get some nice and consistent results but if you're doing this when uh, there is no sun let's say in very let's say dim environments then the auto white balance may play a trick on you and that's why you know it's a very debatable you know how much should you use auto white balance under what circumstances uh, should you use it at all and specifically now in the Google camera reports it's very important to understand you know how well it works and, and not works right so this was my very short lecture on white balance temperature colors and actually out white balance and i'm saying this is very important why i'm saying this because now the very latest google camera beta from arnova 73 supports now the i2 one balance on ported pictures and i'm actually just going to show you not my pretty face of course but just going to show you what the difference this makes when you use out white balance and you don't use it right i've already installed the very latest google camera here by Arnova and I'm guys going to show you two of the best XML or custom configuration files that I use namely the one from Nameless and another one from the Six Priest but before we do this but okay because I wanted to show some nice stuff like I promise yesterday I did play with this and I actually 
did some pictures where I can show you guys the differences into the white balance. So when you use auto white balance and when you don't use it. So this here is a very nice example, but I will start with the front camera because right now the auto white balance is enabled. So here guys, I wanna show you this very nice example on how auto white balance works because we know that the auto white balance is now applied on portrait photos for the front camera, of course. So we can see here, this is a picture I took with the stock camera, all right? And this is a picture I took with the cool camera from Renovo with the auto white balance applied. And as you can see, this is here very important. My wall doesn't look like, like this, guys. My wall also doesn't look like this, but this here is far more accurate than the picture here. And actually this here gives a very nice idea on using of the auto white balance because the auto white balance really tries to neutralize the colors and get really a nice and more realistic color. Now, again, it's not always the case that auto white balance can do this, but when it does work, it's very nice. So this one here is very interesting, okay? So this is the picture I did with the Google camera from Renovo, right? Actually very, very accurate. And this was really a thing in almost Almost like dark environments. This is the picture I took with the stock camera from the OnePlus and you can see it, it's, it's really off. This is far more realistic. Another interesting photo I wanted to show, this is the picture that I took with HDR off on the stock camera, but even that one cannot compare with the colors that I got from using the letters or no with the auto white balance on, all right? So let's see here again. This here is far better than, than this here. And actually what I wanted to let you know, guys, if you're using the stock camera from the OnePlus 7, then you might need also to disable the HDR specifically into low light conditions if you really want to get like more realistic out the white balance and get rid of this yellow tint, all right? I'm just gonna show you guys also some important information. The first one I'm gonna show is the one from Nameless, right? So this one is called Nameless Anova 73B Final, 5B Final. It does support automatic white balance for the IMX 586. Now on the front and the back camera, tone curve shadows and highlights are adjusted. This gives a better noise reduction in shadowed areas with these parts also being a little less dark. The noise value is adjusted. And the other one that I'm gonna show you guys, this is pretty much also a very, very nice XML is the one from 6 arm press kill second release for Renova 73. It has tone map changed for less harsh shadows, the haze adjusted for less harsh blacks, and of course, very important, IMX 586 auto white balance now is on, sharpness increase, custom denoise values, and it has 21 frames, which enables higher quality. This is the very latest Arnova. If I just go here in the settings, you know I'm always doing this so that you know I'm not kidding. This is a, a latest Arnova 73 5 Beta Final, all right? And I am currently using the 6 Priest XML. And actually this can be seen if I go like this, guys, and I go there is in the settings, a section called More to Config Selector. And pretty much if we go here, we can see in the change log that this is exactly the one that I have loaded, all right? And um, also guys, in this specific section called the mod config creator, you are able to create your own XML file. So I encourage you to play with these things. Uh, so if you understand you know, how these things works, you can apparently play with this. Like for example, you know, go out to white balance in the front camera. You see there are so many options that you can go for, right? Different algorithms, right? Now, I'm not going to change anything because I just want to do several picks to try to kind of like test overall uh, both XMLs. And also something very important, guys, usually when I'm comparing Google cameras, I'm using different phones and different XML, so that's why I'm just making a very big disclaimer. That's not really a very nice uh, you know, thing to do because all the XMLs are different. They emphasize on different settings, and of course, all the ports are different. So usually when I'm doing things like this, I'm comparing them with stock camera uh, so that you pretty much you know, just see some of the flaws from the stock camera we have here in Oxygen and the benefits that we have into uh, the XML that we use. But before we start, I just wanna show you guys, so when you open the viewfinder and you go like this, typically you have the flash, HDR enhanced, we can go for HDR plus, Google Auto Wind Balance, now this, I'm just setting this here, you can see it's enabled to on, but I can apparently go and also do off. Then we have image quality, this is the frames used for the HDR enhanced. If we go here to nice side, we should also be able to apply the same settings and also, of course, go for S photography. Now we have the S photography toggle set to on. Okay, guys, so I just wanna do one picture. So right now I'm using the six wrist XML, okay, with the out white balance on. And I just wanna see, guys, the results with you. So, okay, you can pretty much see even the camera, uh, I think, just trying to zoom in. You can see there are some defects on the table that I'm using. So it's a very nice 
crisp image. And why do I like this? Because right now the light is coming, you know, from the window here. So I think it's a very nice opportunity to test it. Okay, now I'm going to load the other XML I told you, the one from Nameless. Okay, now loading XMLs, you just need to double tap here, not only viewfinder, but below. And I have plenty ready, but Nameless, if we go Nameless Arnova 73B, fine, okay, update. Now the Google camera will restart. Okay, just just want to see again. I don't really expect um, you know any kind of differences because again it's using the IMS five eight six, so it does look pretty pretty much the same, guys. There are also some other things into the Arnova camera, guys, but I just wanted to focus on out white balance and demonstrate you you know the XML that we have from the Nameless and the XML that we have from the Sigfrid Arms. I will post links down below in my video where you can download it, and I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video, guys. With that said, I just wish you guys stay at home, stay safe as much as you can, and yeah, PST over and bye!